this week, we'll be spotlighting the city of Somerset and all the things that make Pulaski County special. Yeah, today the focus turns to the downtown area, which has seen an influx of new shops and restaurants over the past decade. But you don't have to go inside a storefront to see change because as LEX 18's Convoy Duluth shows us in this spotlight on Somerset, local artists are helping to paint a new picture for their beloved city. You may not be able to hear the buzz of the cicada through downtown Somerset, but a co-founder of Jarfly Brewing sees a similarity between the growing city and this year's brood that's making noise across the bluegrass. That was the same identity as we really felt that there's this stirring underground, this buzzing ready to come forward uh, and transform in a very magical way. For those who grew up here, Somerset is in the midst of a similar transformation. And I hope that in five years, nobody says where Somerset. Uh, all Kentuckians and people in the southeastern part of this country uh, will know exactly you know, where we are and what we're about. That growth is evident in the city's downtown, home to new shops, restaurants, and art, both in galleries and on city walls. You can come to Somerset and follow our mural trail. You can see all five downtown murals on a two mile walk. So you're getting to take in the arts while also taking a walk and enjoying the benefits of the outdoors. The mayor of Somerset, Alan Keck, says the outdoor art expresses the identity of his hometown. The genesis of the murals is we wanted to promote them and give them a chance to help tell our story. And uh, we've had so many positive comments of people coming downtown and saying it feels so vibrant down here. And you know, the reason for that is it is. Lacey Hilliard's studio and gallery, Wandering Elm, opened in 2018, and it's in the middle of the now vibrant downtown and we utilize our window to show off a lot of local art. I really want the people to know that there are spaces like this in this community and that no matter what level of artistry you might be at, you could be a beginner, or you could be you know, a high level artist, and we do have a community here to support you. Somerset is a town with Appalachian roots and more than 200 years of stories, one that includes a historic spring and the new Fountain Square. The water has always flowed here, but until last decade, the beer did not. That changed with the vote to go wet and the opening of Jarfly. The art here at Jarfly may be craft brewing, but it's also a haven of creativity here in the community. Beer uh, was, was the product that we could offer to be able to afford the experience of having a place for the community to come in and enjoy maybe a different form of artistic creativity than they'd see elsewhere. Local art decorates the walls of the brewery, which Daniel Stroud says is an all-inclusive environment and a gathering place ready to welcome in the world. With the pandemic wrapping up and people being able to suddenly emerge again uh, and get out and shake it up in the tops of the trees making noise, it's, it's very much a, a, a beautiful uh, meeting of identities between the jar fly. Like clockwork, the visitors have returned to Lake Cumberland once again. Mayor Keck hopes they take notice of his beloved city and stick around. We, we celebrate our, our roots in agriculture. Uh, we celebrate the fact that we're a mecca of outdoor recreation and that we have heritage from East Kentucky. The goal? To make sure this is no longer a hidden gem off of Highway 80. Shining the spotlight on Somerset, I'm Conroy Delouche.